Diana from How To Do Fashion. And today I want to talk about something that is uh, really close to my heart, and that is the inside of a garment. I make the most of my clothes myself, and I really appreciate the way my homemade garments look inside. I always refer to my clothing as love letters to myself because that is actually what I am doing when I am making something for, my, for myself. I am appreciating the body that I am putting on the clothes and I really want to make an effort when I make something for myself. The inside, I think it's as important as the outside. I really love to make embroideries, I love to add embellishment and do something um, extra on the outside of the pieces that I'm making, but I also like to do it on the inside. One of the first thing that I will talk about is actually the last thing I do when I am finishing a piece, and that is the neck label. I really love to add a neck label to my clothes and this one is something that i always make on the pieces that i make just for me i of course also sew things that is for how to do fashion for photo shoots for testing etc but these pieces where i'm adding a neck label they are just for me and you can see on this piece, this is a Grograin ribbon and I always embroider the last uh, number is the year that I made it in and the first number is the number of clothes I made this year. So this one was the 11th piece in 21. That is the neck label and I think it's fun because you can track clothes and you can see when it's from, and it's only just a message for me. Some years I only make three pieces, and some years I make 11, as I did in 21. The next thing I want to talk about is lining. I like to line some pieces. I'm actually, I'm actually not a big fan of lining. I do it when it's necessary and I do it when it makes sense, but I'd rather do something beautiful with my seams than add lining. But sometimes it need to be a part of the piece because it makes sense. And it did on this one, this is a white dress. And when you have a white dress, I think you all know that, it can be quite see-through and I don't like that. Sometimes I just add a slip dress or a, some shapewear that can disguise the difference in my skin and the dress. But sometimes I like to do that extra. And this piece is something I made. It is also <clears throat> from 21, I think. I have fully lined this dress, not in the sleeves, because I think it sometimes in a dress makes you feel a bit more buff on the upper arm and my upper arm above enough. But this one is fully lined and I have um, added a sleeve head, a felt sleeve head here because I think it just makes the dress fit so much better. It made makes such a beautiful curve uh, at the shoulder seam. And then I've added some bias tape in the arm side where i have attached the uh, lining i've made these small hand crocheted straps so the lining be around my hip or anywhere else but just stay in place but it's still flexible i've also add some bias band in the in the hemline at the sleeve i just want to show you i've made this embroidery at the front and when I have put so much into a dress I've maybe embroidered 10 or 20 hours on this one I just want to do something extra for the inside as well because it is a very beautiful dress 
and I actually, I've never worn it. Um, I think it's because I finished it when it was uh, COVID, and then I gained some weight and I couldn't fit it, but I can actually fit it again. So I think I would wear it on my next date with my husband. So that was the lining. And then I want to talk about seams. As I said with the dress, I'm not a big fan of lining. I think it can be very beautiful and I of course line the most of my jackets and all of my coats. But I think that you can do something very beautiful with the seams, especially in a jacket. This jacket is a wool jacket and it's actually a quite heavy uh, wool. And again, I have added so many details. I made these very big bonded buttonholes. But today it's about the inside of a garment, not the outside. On this piece, I made Hong Kong seams. And I don't know if you know Hong Kong seams, but I learned to make them so they are reinforcing the seam on a jacket. The story that I was told was that a Hong Kong seam is made in mostly linen jackets because the humidity in Hong Kong is very high, so you don't line the body of a man's uh, suiting. They are made in linen. And linen, when you pull in linen, you know the fibers can looks like they're pulling apart. So if you make the Hong Kong seam the right way, where you are sewing the bias tape into the seam, you will reinforce the seam. That's the way that I have been told that these seams are made. I know that there are many ways to do it and I've seen a lot of different ways, but that's the way that I was teach. And I will maybe make a video if you would like to see how I make, a, in my opinion, a proper Hong Kong seam. But I made this jacket with Hong Kong seams all over. It is actually not necessary in this uh, wool because it's a very heavy wool. And But I, I think it's sometimes fun to work with these details and see how, how it's actually are working in a piece of clothing that it was maybe not meant to be in. But in this jacket, it works very well. Then I have lined the jacket sleeves because I don't like that my blouses um, and shirts are, are pulling up when I'm taking on a jacket. So I like lining in a sleeve in a jacket. Then, of course, I like to add some extra buttons in the side seam. I think it's important that we can maintain our clothes and so it will last for many years. And then I also add bias tape around in the facing. And I'd use this technique um, because I think it's a very easy and also a very uh, lightweight way to add um, a seam. And then I've made shoulder pads. I have lined some felt shoulder pads because I really like that everything, when you look inside a garment, I really like that it's just very, very cohesive. And I think this looks very beautiful. I've just um, hand stitched the lining to the sleeve. And the last thing that I will talk about is bias tape and French seams. I like French seams. I like bias tape. To finish up my seams in one of the two ways is my favorite way to finish up seams. French seams you can use in all light materials and bias tape and bonded seams you can use, I think, in all kinds of garments. So here I have made front seams in the side seams and on the on the horizontal lines I've actually made a, a bias tape because this has a gathering on the top, not on the bottom. So that makes it, I will not say impossible to make a front seam because I'm sure that someone can do it but I can't. So I've added a bias tape and this one in a contrast color because I didn't have enough of the fabric to make bias tape for all the seams. Then on this one I have also made a um, shoulder pad that I've covered up with the fabric. And I have of course when I sewed in the zipper cover up the, the seam as well. This is not something that I would recommend if 
you are not completely and very sure that you can fit this dress. You need to have made a muslin, maybe two, and you need to know that the fit is correct because it's a nightmare to change the zipper. Then I have, of course, made some very nice hemming as well, a very fine hemming, because I think it's important that if you are working with the inside, I think it should be all over. I think it should be the hemline, I think it should be all the seams, I think it should be around the zipper, and I think it should be in the arm side, and yeah, everywhere. Otherwise, for myself, I know I am getting so annoyed about it. I have a dress that I really love. I have used so many hours on making it also make the fit work very well, but I was too lazy to add bias tape around the arm side, so I just overlocked it. And every time I'm wearing it, I get annoyed about it. That was some about the inside of a garment. And as I said in the beginning, remember that when you're making clothing for yourself, make them as love letters for you and put all your love and heart and self-respect into the clothes. So when you wear it, you will every single time see how much you appreciate yourself that was all from me for today if you want to follow just find the link in the caption you can also find links for my website and for my newsletter that was it have a nice day bye